hundred days. That's how much time I spend on my phone, every year. Six to seven hours a day. I wake up with my phone and go to bed with my phone. I'm on my phone during breakfast, when watching TV, and I can't even remember what I used to do when going to the toilet before I had a phone. And then to think that I have the nerve to complain about not having enough time for my hobbies, that I can get myself to work out regularly, and that my life just feels so boring sometimes. Now I've tried to reduce my screen time before. I put a time limit on TikTok, my most used app, which helped for a good few days, but I quickly resorted to ignoring the time limit. My time spent on TikTok each day? Well... Oh, um, around two to three hours? So much for the time restriction. It's time for a drastic change. For one week, I will reduce my screen time from six to seven hours a day to 30 minutes. My goal is to use the time that I will save on working out, reading a new book, this one. Journaling, painting, going outside. Uh, I can list so many more things. But most of all, I hope that after this week, I won't be on my phone as much as before. We'll see what happens. One rule though, no excuses this week. Yeah, sure. Okay. <sighs> So it's 10.30 a.m. and so far I have spent seven minutes on my phone, which is strange because <laughs> I feel like I haven't done anything. The thing is, I get like loads of notifications, work-related notifications on my phone, and I think it counts towards my screen time, so that's a bit of an issue. <laughs> I should probably turn those notifications off. Anyway, 30 minutes is not a loss. <laughs> What I've mainly noticed is that I often have the instinct to just pick up my phone. And it's funny because I don't even have a reason to pick up my phone. It just feels like this really strong split second urge to look at it. I'm gonna start working now, but I'll update you later today. Usually I spend my lunchtime on my phone, but not this week, of course. Instead, I started learning a new jazz standard for my singing lessons and try to play along on the piano. First time trying, so still very rough, but hey, am I becoming a new person? Who is she, spending her lunchtime making music? No phone in sight? It is currently half past eight in the evening, and so far I have spent 29 minutes on my phone today. <laughs> For all, I would say today felt a bit strange and quiet and not a nice kind of quiet, more like the uncomfortable kind of quiet. You know, those numbers, six, seven hours every day on your phone, you know it's a lot, but today I really felt that it is a lot and that I crave being on my phone, which is a strange feeling and not something that I want to have. So plans for tonight. No more phone, obviously. I'm gonna read my book and I'm probably going to play a board game with my boyfriend. I'll see you tomorrow for day two of this seven day challenge. Seven days. <laughs> I'm so dramatic. It's almost half past 12 and so far I have spent, let me check, eight minutes on my phone. Also, I went for a walk. Also, I went for a walk, which is noticeable because I usually put that off until the end of the day. I go for a walk pretty much every day. That's something that started during the pandemic and now I kind of need it for my mental health and I just need fresh air. So that's one thing. Maybe it was because the sun was shining. Maybe it was because I could get nice footage. But anyway, maybe it was also the phone thing. Elmo, waarom? Maybe even more noticeable was that I did not have the urge to check my phone. And normally on my walk, I check my phone at least a couple of times. So, improvement. Overall, the uncomfortable quiet of yesterday felt slightly less uncomfortable. I ended the day with 29 minutes and actually started reading my book. Yesterday, I got stuck making crossword puzzles. Full on grandma mode and honestly, I'm here for it. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. You're five Happy years old today. You get your present to later. Happy birthday to you. Three days in and I can safely say that 30 minutes is not enough time to do the actual useful and necessary things that I do on my phone, such as checking my email, sending a message to family or friends. And that means that I pretty much do not spend any time on social media, except for maybe a few seconds on Instagram every morning, but that's it. And honestly, 
I miss it. I feel like social media is often portrayed as a bad thing with all these people showing their seemingly perfect lives. And of course there's that side to it. But on the other hand, I feel like social media has a lot to offer and that's what I miss. I miss getting inspired for future videos. I miss getting inspired for just I don't know, my life in general. But I also just miss sending my boyfriend silly cat memes and then watching them together and laughing. <laughs> also, I have FOMO. I'm often afraid that I might be missing any photos or videos that my family, friends, my favorite creators might have shared. And it makes me feel a bit behind on things in life and a bit chaotic, a bit unorganized, as if I might be missing something really important. I guess it's just a mindset thing, because honestly, when I look at it realistically, I don't think I've missed anything urgent, as far as I know, at least. Here comes the FOMO. <laughs> also, update on the screen time today. It's almost two o'clock and I'm at 14 minutes. 14 minutes. <laughs> I spent too much time on my phone this morning. Too much time, it's literally 14 minutes. Oh. How do we feel about matcha? I feel like it tastes like chocolate. White chocolate. Blup was extremely happy with her birthday present, as you can see, and I ended the day with 33 minutes of screen time. Wait, 33 minutes? I might as well quit. Well, then you should have already quit after day one. Wait, what? <gasps> 31 minutes? I didn't even know! You forgot to set your alarm before you went to sleep, and when you finally remembered, you'd already spent your 30 minutes. Uh, but, but yesterday, I can explain, my screen time app was stuck at 26 minutes, and by the time I realized, it was already at 33 minutes. Come on, good excuse, right? Uh, no excuses. I think you shouldn't quit. The ultimate goal was to drastically reduce your screen time, and that's what you're doing, even though it's difficult. Are you really going to let this minor slip-up stop you from improving yourself? No, I won't. Thanks. Ah, screen time. Hello, goedemorgen. Good morning. Let me show you something. Look how much I've read already. I take like six months to start reading a book, but when I'm finally reading it and it's good, then I finish it in like a week. And it definitely helps that I'm not on my phone. <laughs> if you're looking for something to read, then I highly recommend this book. Although, of course, I have read only half of it, but so far I love it. If you like Murakami, then you absolutely love this one, at least for half of it, because I don't know what's gonna happen next. But if you haven't read any Murakami in your life, then I would not start with this one, because it's a very strange, a very surrealistic. So you are warned, <laughs> but it's good. I just wanna keep reading, but I can't. After yesterday's realization, I regrouped myself and I finished yesterday with 28 minutes and today with 29 minutes of screen time. My faith in myself was once again restored. I went for a bit of shopping. It was so busy. It was so busy. Oh, and I'm so overstimulated right now. I did get cute clothes though, so that's something. Quick screen time update. It's half past five, 26 minutes. <laughs> Honestly, I'm used to it at this point, but I still miss it like really bad, especially right now when I could just really use some mind numbing scrolling. Isn't it strange how I long for my phone, aka the epitome of overstimulation, at a moment where I felt completely overstimulated? Don't know what's up with that. Instead, I watched some YouTube videos on my laptop. Is that cheating? I don't think so. For some reason, I find it much easier to step away from my laptop than from my phone. It's the last day, guys. It's Sunday, it's 10 past two, and I'm currently at 20 minutes already screen time. Mm -hmm. But it's the last day, so just a few more hours, right? Can't wait to not have to care about my screen time anymore. I think that's the biggest part right now. I feel like this week might actually have an impact on my screen time from now on, because when I'm on social media for like five minutes, afterwards I'm like, hmm, okay, well, that's enough, I guess, which is strange, but 
a good sign, I think. Also, book update, I finished it <laughs> in five days. Who am I? <laughs> that would have never been possible if I just was on my phone all week. On to the next one. <laughs> Amazing book. Highly recommend. Lots to think about. I love it. In just a few more hours, I can do it. I did it! Seven days, 30 minutes of screen time each day. 33 minutes? I'm so glad it's over. But I'm also so proud of myself. So to close this video with, I want to share some honest takeaways from the past week. I feel like the urge to constantly check my phone for no reason definitely got less and less over the past few days. And I feel like that's even true today, even though I do not have my screen time limit anymore. And for that alone, I would definitely do this all again because it kind of feels freeing in a way. The FOMO also subsided a bit, but it didn't go away entirely. And for that reason, I'm happy to, to be able to check my social media a bit more, especially Instagram. I feel like that's the main thing I've missed. TikTok, not so much, which is funny because I used to spend so much time on there. So hopefully not anymore. <laughs> Also, I find out that 30 minutes is not practical and not sustainable. <laughs> I feel like my phone needs at least 20 minutes a day to just exist. So for the long term, I'm thinking about maybe one to two hours, but maybe that's too optimistic. I also feel like the moments when I would usually be on my phone for a, an extended period of time were the easiest to fill up with other activities, such as reading, mostly reading. But there are many in-between moments in a day where I used to quickly check my phone for just a few seconds. At those moments, I felt a bit more lost the past week, but also I think I got better at just doing nothing for a few seconds. Overall, I would really recommend doing this kind of detox if you feel like you might benefit from it, if you feel like you might need it. It just feels very good to know that I I'm not wasting away my time being glued to my phone for hours on end each day. And I really want to keep that up. And after this week, I know I can. So when I feel weak, when I have a weak moment, I can look back on the past few days and be like, come on, just put your phone away. Remember that week when you were on your phone for 30 minutes a day? Just put it away, easy. So final screen time update for this video. I thought it might be interesting to see how I'm doing a day after. It's half past two and I'm almost at one and a half hours. I mostly spent that time filling out a survey and I've been on TikTok for only 10 minutes and Instagram for eight minutes. Remember what we started with? Improvement. Although of course it's still early in the day, but still, I'm actually proud. So this marks the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching if you've come this far and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. What's with the hands? I look like a fish. <laughs>